What is up, gents? Dare Bad Gaming here, the channel for casual raiders. We are going over a Cavalax. Cavalax. Uh, everybody is keep. Everybody keeps talking about him in my uh, clan. So, um, so for my, my boy, uh, pulled him, uh, leveled him up, ready to go. Everything is like just. I, I have to ask if we can use the, the the things, but we have to probably save the skills for Clamor's Clan because it's the waiting game basically. Uh, but we're going to do a how-to gear guide uh, first, and then we're going to do a full guide on him right after this. So if you aren't subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button because these videos won't pop up for you if, if you're not. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to get into it. First, we're going to do a how-to gear guide. My thought process on this would be um, he's got a uh, unkillable team, so we're going to replace Draco with this guy just to kind of see how much damage he can do and, you know, relentless set and just go ham uh, in clan boss. And then there's going to be uh, a full guide um, kind of going over just normal dungeons and stuff like that. So first off, let me save this uh, because we just kind of geared up the basic right now. So let me save this. This is going to be a relentless set with a little bit of uh, accuracy on top of that because we want him to land his skills. So uh, if you guys don't know, uh, real quick, we'll go over this. Tax one enemy, 40% chance up to a 55% chance of increase in duration of all poisons. Um, debuffs for one turn, so that's on A1. Like, just extending the poisons on A1 is awesome. Um, if you have the one dude, Vizier, uh, he can do it just innately on his A1. Uh, but if you don't have Vizier and you have him, he's a poisoner and an extender all at the same time. Uh, heals this champion by 2.5% of the max HP for each poison debuff on the target. So if you don't have an unkillable team, this guy really doesn't need lifesteal. Like, you kind of just want to keep doing the a1 uh especially with a uh, counter attack team it's going to be sick but uh then we got the a2 tax one enemy plays an extra hit for each poison debuff max three <laughs> can you imagine him hitting the target like eight nine ten times that'd be insane uh based off attack and then this one attacks all enemies uh damage increase according to the number of poison debuffs so we're probably gonna have seven max on him because we need the decrease defense we need the decrease uh weaken and also the attack um so probably seven, which is which is good. And then he also has an Emmy Max. Like this guy's just built for the clan boss, it's, and he looks freaking amazing. Like this is this is the concept art that one of the people in the community built, and they definitely did a great job with it. Freaking awesome. His passive places four poisons. Like this just places. Like you don't really need accuracy. I've noticed uh, debuff on all enemies for two turns at the start of each round. So every time he goes up, boom, four poison, four poison, four poison, four poisons. Um, has a 50% chance of placing a 5% poison debuff on all enemies for one turn at the start of each turn. What? Uh, whenever enemy places a poison debuff on the champion, instantly removes it and replaces it on... Uh, okay, so he gets a heal, but Clan Boss usually doesn't do that. And then uh, ally speed in all battles by 19%. That is just a bonus on top of everything else. So let's go over the rest of down here. First, uh, for this guy, I want to do as much damage. So I'm always going to start off with the gloves. I want to do uh, 80 crit gloves. Uh, we only have this one because it's the most crit rate that we kind of can get on this. Uh, we're up to 97% crit rate. So we're almost at 100, but all the other crit damage gloves didn't have, at least I don't think they had the higher uh, crit rate on it. But this is kind of how you're going to start. So this one has 18 crit rate. So that is actually good. That's a part of our Relentless set. So we might, oh, but then we lose speed and we kind of need the speed. So this could be another one. If you want the crit rate, that'll be 97. That's 101%. Yeah, so that'll get you 100% right there. But you always want to start off with the gloves uh, just to see how much like the most crit you have on it. Because uh, yeah, that's the only Relentless glove we have. 18 crit, which is really freaking good. Just no speed, so we want to try and get up to the Draco speed, which is around 221 for the unkillable team. I'll test it for slower, but I don't know if it's going to work. I think he is the fastest on the team, just so the Relentless doesn't really matter. So that's where you're going to start off, is you're going to start off with the crit damage gloves, no matter what set you got. Uh, this one doesn't have any speed either, so really... Oh, because we get the 5% speed for that. Okay, so maybe we... we yeah, we're going, to, we're going to swap this out, because I'm going to get that extra 80 speed, or 80 crit damage instead of 65. So then we have to replace one of the gear sets in here for a accuracy and speed. So I guess the substats we really want are speed, crit rate, um, and I guess attack. Is there a primary attack 
chess piece that we can use. There is not. Okay, so we won't get the chess piece, but maybe one of these three up here we'll try and get. All right, so let's go into our, here we go. So let's we'll just go through this and we'll see the stats over here. We want to keep that 100% crit rate. We want more speed if we can get it. So yeah, we got six crit rates, 16 extra speed there. Holy shit. Um, that's actually really good. So we have a really good weapon already right there. This one gets a seven crit. I guess we don't need the crit if we're art. Does this have any crit? I don't want to click on it. So crit. All right, so we, we lose six crit there. Gain six crit there. Lose six crit. Gain six. It'd be good if we just don't have just an even wash. I'm looking just right here. All right, so there's literally no, no, no weapon. I mean, they're all giving us a lot of speed, but we're losing the crit rate. I want to try and get even. So there you go. We're only losing two there. We're gaining 10 speed, um, but not a lot of attack. So maybe we could do attack on the helmet. Attack percentage uh, right here. So this one has nothing on there, but we got attack and speed. We're losing 20 crit. Okay, so we definitely need crit. The helmet here has 20 crit on it. So let's put crit right back on and take attack off. I love this freaking uh, fitting room that they that they changed a while back. It makes things so much freaking easier. Uh, so we lose seven crit, lose two crit, but gain 10 speed. So we're gonna put a fitting room on and we're gonna try this. So now we're up to 99, 149, 194. All right, so, and then we got a shield option. So the shield option, there's nothing that has crit on it. So I guess we have to go with this, with this helmet. Yeah. This one actually gives us one more speed. <laughs> Lose that 23 accuracy though. All right, so I think we're gonna keep it like this. Yeah, so we're gonna get a little bit more crit damage from this. We're gonna get our crit damage neck piece. We're gonna get uh, probably our accuracy uh, banner. Yeah, so I like this. Let's go with this. Cool. Um, so again, we're gonna start off with the, with this. Uh, with the and no matter what you use, if you're gonna use it for uh, clan boss, you're probably gonna use the life steal set. But again, his passive is giving you the life steal. So, and that's for every single time. Which one is it? Is it this? Yeah, heals this champion by 2.5% of the max HP for each poison debuff on the target. So that's on his A1. So if you just keep doing his A1, he's able to extend the buffs and do that. So you might you might be safe with just doing lifesteal on him just, just to be safe because he's going to have to heal back up. And I don't know how much he's going to heal for. We're going to test that out. Because like Cantra, she literally heals all the way back up with her, her passive. Um, so we'll be back, uh, attack for this. If you're dying too fast, go with HP. Um, you want him to survive long, but again, this is an unkillable team. So we're going to just test out attack. But other than that, I would probably go HP on, on the chest piece. Uh, boots obviously always go with the, with the speed. Um, this you want speed crit rate for this guy, mainly going with crit rate, crit damage, uh, speed and accuracy. That that's kind of the stats that we're looking for. So let me fill out these ones down here. We're going to go with unkillable team. So we're going to, we're going to get attack here, crit damage here. And then we're going with the accuracy here just to make sure that he's landing his, uh, this, the extension, uh, as well as any other poisons that's, that he's going to be putting up. So we need about 220 or 230, uh, accuracy for that. He's only, he's already at 170. So we really only need like a normal banner, uh, for this, unless we can get like a really good accuracy on the on here like crit damage with accuracy substats we'll see so let me let me lift this guy out uh and then we'll be back bro you have 159 million silver you are ridiculous all right so we got extra crit rate there did we shit now we're over <laughs> we're 105 <sighs> crit rate uh because of that <clears throat> we really need speed so we might have to sub out to get that speed up a little bit um, but I'm going to level up this. Hopefully we get speed. I'm going to level up this. Maybe we can get another speed thing. 
Shit, I don't want to touch this because this is on his Draco. Hmm. Let me ask him. All right. So we're trying to see what this is going to roll. So we're going to get more crit percentage, but... Oh, okay, that's what we wanted. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't mess with his uh, his speed comp, but crit damage is cool. It adds an extra whatever, and then we got an extra 16% attack right there. So that is awesome. Cool. Uh, and then what else? We're going to level up the banner, the rings, all the, all the stuff. So... Holy shit. All right, so we got uh, 4,700 attack. That could be a little bit higher because I didn't upgrade the banner fully and the um, ring fully. But we got 98% crit, 241 crit damage. That's with Warmaster. Uh, 251 without an accuracy banner. That is that is legit. Uh, 221 speed, which is what we wanted. And let's do the masteries. And then let's test them out. Okay, so this is, uh, again, this is the full stats. Now, what gear sets are, is this guy going to be good for? Let's go top down. All right, so depending on where you're going to use them, uh, these beginning gear sets, they're, they're not bad. They're just not, they're just overpowered by all the other ones uh, that just got released recently. Speed is always good. If you want him to go as fast as possible, just to do as, as, as much, you know, debuffs as, as he can as he goes through, goes through the waves. Crit rate, you definitely want this guy to hit hard. You want his crit rate 100%. You want his crit damage above 200 if you can get that. Um, crit damage, obviously, that helps. But accuracy. Accuracy is going to be needed to extend the buffs uh, on the clan boss to actually land the buffs. He doesn't have anything else besides poisons. Um, but this is kind of like the Septimus where if he goes up and attacks the boss, he, got, he has to extend it. Uh, so definitely want to book this guy out if you can use him for the clan boss. And obviously the masteries. 5% uh, chance to land it and extend it uh, with the evil eye um, and then this one to extend the, the duration of the buffs as well. So let's see his total stats after I increased it a little bit. All right, so we got 222, 103, 251, 267 <laughs> without an accuracy banner. That is awesome. Um, all right, what other gear sets? Uh, again, accuracy is good, but the perception set is just so good because it has speed. Lifesteal, again, I would suggest if you don't have an unkillable team, just throw a lifesteal set. It, it's never bad for a clan boss. You're just going to survive a lot longer. Uh, tr 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 skip all these. Skip all these. Skip all that. This is really good to start collecting, by the way. Uh, Bommel just needs this, this gear set. Immunity, probably not good. I've seen this guy in PvP. He's not the best PvPer. There's just a lot better people out there. Shield set, he's only got 12,000 HP. He's not going to be good in a shield set. Relentless, 100%. Uh, if I get this guy on my account, I'm going 100% relentless and just throwing him in uh, Doom Tower and just go boom, 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 boom. As many poisons as possibly can get. Sunset, I think this guy would be pretty cool too. Savage, uh, I would like to build this guy more tankier and last longer and just throw out as many poisons. I don't want him. To, I don't want him to be targeted. When attack champion usually gets targeted, they die. <laughs> so I don't want him to die. So Savage set could be good. He just doesn't do as much damage as we hoped he would uh destroy set great for scarab king but besides that you don't really need a destroy set stun set let's go over skills so any oh shit <laughs> let's go back to the guy uh any aoe's usually on a1 is the best stun set champion uh aoe on the a1 i don't i don't have him so i don't know what he looks like there we go so he's got a uh, one hitter attacks one enemy attacks one enemy uh and then attacks all enemies so it's a four turn cooldown so he's probably not the best for a stun set, uh, in my honest opinion. Uh, poison. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you don't need poison for this guy. Uh, provokes, no, you don't want him to get attacked. Counterattack, maybe. But if you you should probably already have a counterattack if you're going to do the normal clan boss anyway. Stalwart isn't bad if you have a really good healer. Uh, Stalwart takes away 30% of the damage taken. I wonder how this guy would be on the... Um, eternal dragon um just putting as many poisons as possible on the on the bosses so this guy actually would probably be really good in most of the doom tower bosses uh this thing i uh, gotta test this out i don't have a full set of this 40 percent chance to reduce a random skill so this one uh, attacks all enemies damage increase according to number all right so we don't really need that so we could probably just not do that 
honestly. Um, I have to see what it hits on the, the waves. Attacks one enemy, plays an extra hit for each poison. So that, that'd be cool. So maybe testing it out, just doing this and this. So that way he just does a crap ton of uh, hits. And then this as well. Yeah, so that... Gotta test that one out. That's like really good for bad L and stuff like that. This isn't bad. Uh, if you want to go a lot more, like just a two-piece set, throw more attack and, and ignore there. This is good for PvE if you go on the Doom Tower route. Um, and then I would ignore this. I would ignore this if you need it. The extra crit rate. This isn't a bad set. We only have one piece in this set. Uh, not really needed. This is good. There's another speed set, but you get a shield on top of that. This probably don't need it because we're not going PvP with this guy. Don't really need this. This, I would really suggest. It's, it's just a two-piece set. So if you want to throw three two-piece sets on it or a four-piece set with this to counterbalance like the accuracy, like this is not needing a banner, which is cool. So this is good. Maybe two, three sets of this if you're early on like because you can forge them. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. This isn't bad. You get an extra 5% crit and attack there. This is what I'm, I'm starting to collect. Uh, this is off of the Griffin, I think. This is Griffin. This is, um, what the hell is this? This is one of the Doom Tower bosses, but I tried to start collecting this. Uh, what's with the Griffin? The Dragon. This might be the Dragon, yeah. So I started collecting this because it's basically lifesteal, but you get 12 crit on top of that. That is huge. That is such a good set right there. So start collecting this set. This set's good for tanky people, not, not this guy. Don't need that. And this is like a savage set, but you actually get crit rate. So this is really cool too. I didn't start farming this yet. Uh, I didn't have an auto fey team yet. <laughs> so this this is good. Just don't have it. So those are the sets that I would suggest. The Relentless set I, is one of my favorite sets. If you can get it from tournaments, try and get it. Um, but we are going to test this, this guy out in the next video. So if you guys uh, can check that out, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have them? Do you want them? I definitely want them. But now we get to have some fun with this guy uh, in the next video. So guys, appreciate it. Good luck. And uh, we'll see you in, in another video soon.